Okay. Are we recording? Yes, we, are, we are recording. Oh, are you not going to do your um, slap? Alright. We can do the slap. That's not. Daniel. <laughs> uh, this Episode again. Yeah, here we see. go again. Exactly. <laughs> and it's rather, been a couple of tough weeks, or not tough, just busy weeks. So. I'd say tough. Yeah. Um, but I mean, pretty excited for this episode. Yeah. Um, and obviously, rather exciting times. Uh, just having won the World Cup. Mm. Yeah. Um, oh, that's a big one. Where's your heart at with that? Though? So let me listen. Let me. Um, we discussed on what we're going to discuss now, and I think um, with our uh, first episode being around this table, it was actually just here when you mm. decided you're just going to start with this podcast and actually speaking about what needs to happen and. And I think it was actually a good thing for us um, being, not to say in the positions that we were in this last, let's say, six weeks, but after our, uh, let's say, call it podcast with Peter that we had in Alsprite, um, well, our group structure changed a little bit. And yes. There's a lot that happened. But I think one thing that um, is ev- evident for me is that the baton and South Africa. Um, and the change for our country lies within, obviously, the country, but with the young businessmen. Um, I think with our discussion just now, I think it was 2 o'clock or 1 o'clock today, mm. that we had again with um, one of our mentors, um, serious business guy in our country, um, that it's almost like they the generation that need to build the bridge, but we the ones that need to take everybody over the bridge. Yes. And if we're not going to build businesses and not just being in the uh, position of talk because we saw a couple of guys and people uh, mm. uh, uh, do a lot of talk work in this last let's say two months mm. and especially in the other businesses some businesses we took over um, that there was a lot of talk but not so 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 the the the, the outcomes not always there so it's mm. almost like pitching this great Mm. ideas and but the work doesn't follow you know, follow that and I think that's something that I think if we can get this message over to our generation guys especially the ones that starting out either with a new career the guys starting out uh, trying because there's a couple of guys and a lot of guys in a situation mm. women as well um, in a situation where they leaving you know whatever they were busy with if it's within a business or leaving a business for another business but they in that how can I say, pivotal 10-year period where they need to decide now, okay, what am I going to do for the next 10 years? And for me, I think that's something as South Africans, um, something that heated me with this, you know, mentor of ours. Um, because of all the guys taking IP outside the country, he's saying, no, let's leave the IP in the country because our hearts are here in the country to build South Africa. And that's something that really challenged me because there's so much structures and fancy financial instruments that how you can, um, you know, bolt um, uh, because of the tax benefits and all these nonsense. Mm. I mean, I don't want to go into all of that yeah, detail. The technicalities. <laughs> but the thing is, there's a lot of businessmen that, um, from our senior businessmen in the countries, uh, a majority mm. of their of their money sits overseas. We. You know, it's, it's, it's a little bit of a, of a mindset, uh, mindset shift that you need to make to say, okay, but no, the tax laws and this, I'm almost talking against myself here because in the previous episodes, I was the one that's saying, no, but we need to have our tax laws and all that stuff um, being uh, looked, at. Put, yeah, looked at in a better situation because it's not mm-hmm. lucrative for businessmen. But at the other end, you know, if we all going to take all of our money overseas, where is that putting our country? Yes. It's people unemployment, it's all of that that boils down to. The thing is, that's, I mean, that's a big thing. I, and, and I mean, referencing the discussion. So we had lunch this afternoon mm. um, with really a great mentor. I mean, it, it happened mm. over a very short span of time. Um, you know, well, but it, it just boiled into that. Yeah, so exactly. <laughs> one of our partners just like, can we do this a monthly thing? <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, but the thing is, so I'm not going to give, mm. you know, obviously his name, maybe someday we'll have him on the podcast, you know, or his yeah. age, but he's, 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 he's post 45 years of age, um, you know, and, um, and here's the thing where he challenged us regarding mm. this today. Is, well, I wouldn't say challenged, I think we're sort of aligned, but just it's, it's realigning. Really, 
Yeah, it was, it was like, really cool to hear it from his mouth. You know, he's he's hope for South Africa, mm. and the thing is, it's not an unfound hope. Mm. You know, or sorry, and, and uh, it's it's not a hope that's not based on anything or mm. backed by anything. Um, and, and, and that's the whole idea here regarding one of his businesses. Mm. Obviously, he's got multiple businesses, but, but him making reference to the fact that he says, no, don't take the IP offshore. Mm. If you believe in South Africa, leave the IP here, build the IP here, build the country here. Um, you know, and, and, and tying that into, mm. into sort of our message, hope and belief for, for our generation and, and, and obviously our audience that we're speaking to is mm. this idea of you need to take a stance whether you, you are for South Africa mm. um, and for Africa and whether you, you, you believe in the fact that South Africa and Africa will be a great success on all fronts, you know, socially, economically, um, you know, on all levels. Uh, you know, and, 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 and our belief being that a lot of that lies currently on the shoulders of our generation. Um, you know, the previous generation brought us this far and they did good things and obviously mm. there were mistakes made. We all mm. made, you know, we're all human beings. But the point is, you know, there is, and it came out in this discussion as well, that mm. there really is a belief or a perspective at least that our generation needs to step up our game big time Just, okay. in terms of taking up this baton. You know, really and, taking and up this talking. baton. Just exactly. talking a bit the game. Exactly. And stop being, uh, not to say flashy, but Posturing. let the work, yeah, let the work be the, you know, the, 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 the speaker. Let the mm. work and the outcome of the whatever gets done uh, be speaking the loudest. Exactly. Um, if I can say that. Um, and the thing is, because it's all, it's, it's, it's nice to talk things and, and to talk what need to happen in the future. But the mm. fact is, the, th the clock's ticking out. And not just, I think there's a lot of time. Still, we're still young, but the young businessman between, let's say, uh, well, let's call it 28 and 38. Um, and, and, and I don't you get my point. I just feel not burdened, but I, I feel that there's a huge responsibility on those guys to get the fundamentals right and not build businesses for quick schemes, quick money, um, sell off businesses, um, get buy out by, um, you know, losing their just cause. Yes. Um, or losing their purpose because of money because if you're doing something right the money's going to come people's exactly. going to offer you obviously and big companies and then that purpose of that idea that we're actually meant to let's say build a nation or build africa or um it gets lost by a lot of money that's mm. actually pennies in the bigger scheme and, and, and whatever you needed to do um and i think that's you know we we we, we discussed it this morning what do we need to talk about um is the guys that need to build step businesses. up right but step up and and i just want to touch on something that you you i mean you sort yeah, of yeah, yeah. again just surfed over it very politely but it's the whole thing of 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 just building business for money right mm. now obviously i mean we've mentioned this so many times but mm. it, it's very difficult or it's i would suppose it's probably unwise to be in business you know without the intent of making money <laughs> but but ultimately you know the idea is there's so much more to it right in terms of running in purpose um you know and not just building a business to exit it one day that's the first thing yeah. um you know and the second thing which, which is extremely important is this whole idea of Currently, you know, and, and, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. It feels like the main goal, or it's actually not the main goal. It feels like the only goal mm. for people going into business at the moment. And I mean, I know that I'm generalizing a bit, mm. but at least it feels like it is to make money, to exit the business, make a lot of money and go live on an island or a yacht somewhere. So, and that doesn't feel right mm. and and if if i can comment on that um you asked me obviously but and there's a few things that i wanted to just mention so um what i said earlier regarding the topic we chose it was funny <laughs> that the guy we sat with mentioned the exact same thing mm. um you guys need to work um, exactly uh, stop talking stop you, you get my point. He, he was challenging us mm. regarding. You get my point. It's not. Um, it, it, it's it's the th fact of. Listen, in ten years' time, um, yes, there's people gonna offer you whatever he mentioned numbers and whatever that it's pennies, but yes, they're gonna offer you big bucks for the businesses, but that's not what you do. You spoke to me the first time we sat, and you had a purpose for what you wanna do, um, and he 
was asking us, how does that fit in your model? And that's a challenge to not lose the core of whatever you do. Mm. And it comes down to this is, I 100% believe that social media is one of the key drivers to get people's focus. Of course. Um, and not to say that social media's drivers is to get people off, but that is one of the drivers because people just flashing whatever's good. So other people want that. So what, what happens is, it's easy to build a business and sell it off as a profit if you've got some sort of good IP or some sort of great idea to sell it for a profit. But the problem is it's, it's straining to do that for 40 years. Um, is to, and, and if that, so they, I know about people that, uh, that do that, um, but they do it for a purpose. They build businesses, sell it off because there's a bigger goal that they, so that's well, that they build it sustainably, right? Yeah. But, but the selling off of the businesses is a strategic goal. That's a tool they have yes. for a bigger picture. There's yes. always something bigger running at the back. It's not leaving everything, building one business, go on to the next one, go on to the next one. There's always yes. some sort of structure under which... Um, well, there's so, stepping so, stones, right? Yes. So the thing for me is, it's, and we spoke about this a lot in our business, um, about the journey, is, listen, if you build a successful business and you build, let's say, 30 years or 20 years, what happened in that 20 years? If you build a successful business and you're cashing out hundreds of millions or billions or whatever, um, and you had a, a, a straining but not rewarding journey, um, that's, that's not rewarding. Mm. It's not. If your family's um, not better off because of you, um, you know, building your business, um, yes, it's, there's tough times and there's good times, but that's for me, um, one of the biggest things, and that, I think that's one of our biggest things, is building a business where everybody can actually, you know, um, live um, for their purpose within the business. Yes. And, and we use their talents to obviously benefit the bigger picture. Yes. Um, and the thing is, that's difficult to get to because you, n you really need businessmen that's not in it for the quick sell-off yes. or to get the resource for whatever the money um, or the, you get me, the number they can bring in. Well, the thing is, if we dig into that just a bit, is the worry is, I think, at least for us, mm -hmm. um, generationally, is that if everybody just sort of goes on and build businesses or careers or whatever it is for themselves, mm -hmm. financially, let's say, then if we keep on going on this trajectory, Where's the world going to be at in 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years? Put 100 years to it if you'd like. Mm. Um, you know, that number is not really that important. The point is that I think if you look at the world today, it really does appear to be quite a mess. Yeah. Um, you know, there's so much of division. There's so much of um, controversy, you know, and, and everybody feels like they've got an opinion. Everybody thinks they're right. Um, it's extremely difficult. The environment is so difficult to operate in. Wow. And here's the thing, you know, it, it, it makes me think a lot about, you know, one of Jordan Peterson's concepts regarding um, chaos to order. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's this whole situation where if you just generally walk through life at the moment as a young person or a relatively young person, I mean, you can feel the chaos, mm -hmm. right? No, it's, now imagine, imagine nobody does something materially about that. Where are things going to be at over the next you yeah, know, it, it you makes get what me I'm think saying? of that movie where the guy runs on the treadmill and they're in this game, this virtual reality game. <laughs> so they're in this game and then they escape. I cannot actually remember the movie, but yeah. So they, um, well, I feel it will end up there eventually. Well, case in point, and, um, this is, and this is part of the message in terms of, listen, if you're going to go out and build a uh, business or your career, do it with purpose, you know, and, and, and more than just actually chasing after money. Uh, and listen, the thing is, if, if our country keeps on chasing um, the quick fixes, we're going to not, um, you know, see the results I think we want to see um, in let's say 20 to 30 years. It mm. took, we heard a stat that it took, I think China's, no, it took India 75 years. Yes, to be at where they're now. Yeah. We and didn't verify it though, but that was the stat that was given. Yeah, that was the stat that was given. We didn't prove that yet. But so it took them 75 years, if that stat is correct, um, which I believe it's luckily from Probably. a trusted source. So, but the thing is, 
our country's already like, what's it, 35, 40 years in it? 35? Well, it's 94, right? 94, you know? so yeah, okay. <laughs> so the thing is, for me, it's, it's we in the testing phase and we're figuring it out. Sure. Um, we we in the situation. A very young democracy, right? Yeah, but still, who's going to change for it? If it's a bunch of talkers or if it's people that's actually going to start. And I think that ties into the purpose side of it. Because I think most people are scared. We sat with a lot of people that want to start something, but they're scared to do it. Mm. And obviously, then you know that's the right thing to do. Mm. <laughs> if it frightens you, just flip and run. Well, and you it. need to make peace with the fact that you're always going to be scared. <laughs> yeah. That's just so, the name of the but game. But start with it, because that's, mm. uh, that's something that South Africa needs, um, and, and, and purely South Africa. The thing is, we, we also looked around the world, doing business around the world, mm. and it's almost like my mind's getting back to our country again. There's a lot of business yet to do, and there's a lot of stuff that needs to get done. Yes. And if we're gonna keep on waiting, and I know we're repeating ourselves here, but I, th I, I just think that if this, for me, it's a little bit of a challenge towards you know our age, and especially the audience that's watching is a bit, you know, our age. Um, but this is almost like that challenge to say, guys, start with what you need to do. Because, um, and not to say we cannot be the only ones. There's a lot of guys that's doing well for this country, especially in the small towns, because mm -hmm. they're not convoluted. One of my good mates um, is doing super well in a small town. And he's not convoluted with all these nonsense. He's a, like a boor guy. <laughs> yeah, he just keeping operates. his eyes on the prize. He know, just operates. And they don't actually realize how big they are because the, the thing is they just do that every single day being persistent every single day start 4 a.m every single day making sure the pumps go making sure whatever they do yes um they do right but they do it over a period of time and they persistent but the thing is for me it's we get convoluted with this noise of we feel we're behind and um we 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 feel that you know um uh, well, I, I won't say, and I don't want to go on to the Gary V side to just say that, um, you know, 31-year-olds feel or 30-year-olds feel that they're old or whatever. I, I think that's something that's super in the U.S. Um, I don't think that's something so much in our country, although it maybe play a part. But if you're 30, you know, the most important time of your, year, of, of, of your career could be between 30 and 40 sure um that's that's where really the magic will happen because then you a little bit it depends on what you did in your 20s well your back is still strong right but, so i mean you can yeah. build and build yeah and, and build. You, yeah and that's that's the thing for me is to challenge the guys and girls and you know south african specific um to do whatever they need to do and actually see that vision of playing their part in our country um, because i really think that goes far and and a lot of those um, because and we dealt with a lot of guys with because and and that was good for me to also go through um the the, the guys we we dealing with that's done with all the bribes that's done they come came to us because they want to do proper business they done with all these no but just people. to be clear when you say bribes they done they done getting done they, in right they, they done they're with it they they tired of, they, they tired of getting in because they, it's a fact there's a big part of our country's business that's thriving on bribes. It's a fact. Sure. But there's a big, like these people we're dealing with now, they're done with that. They want to do business with people that's honest, that they, they, they know that's not sustainable, and it's biting everybody. Um, and that's something that I really believe that there's a testing, well, there were a testing phase that this, it, it will, listen, bribes is all over the world. It's the way a lot of people do business, and I'm not for it at all. Um, I don't think, listen, it's just like, it's, it's like um, theft. You're not going to eradicate theft 100%. It's, I, I think it's an impossible number. Yes, sure. the police strive for it, uh, maybe globally, mm. but I think 100% is something you strive for, but they're never going to get to 100% um, because it's human nature to go and rebel against all these rules and stuff. But for me, there was a good phase where, where our young you know, generation in our country that um, we're busy with all these things. Really realize that, listen, um, this is not sustainable um, because they got burned. And that's a good thing for me. That Because I wasn't involved in all, any of those things. I wasn't exposed to it. My, mm -hmm. It's almost like my career was like a blue ocean on its own. 
I wasn't exposed to all these things. But um, it's, it's, it's refreshing for me seeing these oaks um, running, stepping, up, right, stepping up and running for mm. true business. Yes. Um, really believing that they can play a part and that they are good in what they're doing and they can get the job done without all these bribes and stuff. Um, but yeah, so, so I think... Well, I think what's coming through, right, is that oh. there's... Um, it would appear that there's a, there's a real intent to start doing things right, mm. um, you know, uh, and, and, and I think that counts for a lot. For me, in the context of all of this, with regards to the responsibility of, of, of the younger generation, whilst I was listening to you, what comes to mind is that, you know, people sort of live in this vacuum that, you know, it's just another day, it's just another day, it's just another day, and life continues. Yeah. But here's the reality, and it's, it's, it's very real for us, is that the older generation is going to die off eventually. Mm. That's just part of life. And if you sort of make peace with that realization, and you understand that when they die off, mm. who's going to be responsible? And then it sort of hits you that, well, if you are going to be responsible one day, mm. you're actually responsible now already. Mm. You know, I once heard this um, a pastor doing a sermon, um, and it, it, it really shook me. He said that something that you need to, to come to grips with in your, in your younger life is that there's an older version of you mm. living inside of you that you need to start being responsible towards today. And people miss that. Mm. The older version of you exists within you. Mm. And whatever you do today mm. is you're either being responsible towards that individual or you're being irresponsible towards that individual. Not even to mention your children and your children's mm. children one day. Mm. Um, and I guess that's the idea here, right? That we sort of find ourselves as Africans and South Africans in this position where we really need to start picking up the baton and start being responsible towards our older selves. Um, you know, and in doing so, obviously being responsible towards everybody around us. And, and start, yeah, because if you, you cannot start building, well, you can, but the thing is, why waste 10 years of time wanting to start something and only start it when you're 40? When you can maybe hear this podcast or whatever and get challenged and start it when you're 30 or 25 and start actually making influence and an impact in a yes. country where, you, you, where there is really opportunity. I mean, two things on that, right? So, so the first thing is that, you know, again, this thing about going off your dream, whether it's career-wise, whether it's mm -hmm. business-wise, whatever the case may be, mm -hmm. you know, but, but really making a difference, obviously gaining financially and all of those, you know, material things as well. But um, the older you get, the harder it gets, you know, because you've got more responsibility. And people just always sort of, I don't want to say, I mean, we're generalizing again, but it's real. People just continue in life. And then at some point, they always wake up with this yearning inside of them of this thing that they want to do, right? And then they wake up one day and they're 40 or they're 50 or whatever. Even, even for example, us being just over 30. And, and you, you come to the realization where, well, for goodness sake, I'm not going to get younger. Mm -hmm. And I and therefore have to start now, mm -hmm. you know, that sorry, Dan, uh -huh. I see you want to say something, but that's the first thing. <laughs> yeah. I just want to mention this because I don't want to actually mm -hmm. forget about it. Mm -hmm. um, and it came out in our conversation uh, this afternoon. And that is that there really is a belief amongst people that are that are root, not, I don't want to say rooting for South Africa and for Africa, but that are that are really driving to build the country um, and obviously the continent that Capital is going to come. Yeah. There's so many people that are sitting on the fence, mm. you know, waiting, Watching. waiting, but it, it will come and it has to come. Mm. Um, so the idea just being in terms of mentioning that, that they really, the opportunity we believe is here. It is in South Africa. Our belief is that it is extremely diff difficult in the first world countries at the moment. It for sure. To just go after your dreams, to just, you know, to just go and there build a business. There were time where the money flushed into that countries. But if you look at the economies, if you look at India, if you look at what China did, if you look at here, you know, if um, our, our countries like, how I see it in my, let's say, uh, vision or whatever, um, it's like a hovering freaking V8 that's just mm. idling. And it's, it's literally like gearing to take off. Yeah. And it could be in five years time. All I know is we can just be persistent in what we're doing. We've got a plan, we've got a structure, we're going, we're building, we're mm. not just talking. Um, and we just need to be persistent in what, we're not going to lose hope on this journey. 
because some way somebody's gonna definitely either come along mm. if it's a million people that comes along and spend within the businesses that we're building or if it's one investor that believes in it and it opens up doors because of know well that we didn't um, you know I cannot sit and, and, and or, or do not sleep about all that issues exactly. that's not I can be just persistent today We've got a team that needs to go out today. We've got a, you know, th that's the responsibility. That's what we build. Yes. Um, but what I wanted to get to is how quickly time goes by. <laughs> 100%. And when you're not busy. So when you're busy, time flies. But when you're not busy, you can keep yourself busy with a lot of crap. And then when you, when you see a year's gone, um, and then you did nothing. Exactly. And that, not to say breaks my heart, but, but that's what, what the let's say not youngsters i want to move away from the word youngsters but that's what the young businessmen need to watch out for because you're going to be busy but with the wrong things yes and that's that's pollution because that over time if you don't realize what's the right thing because of you know uh, whatever the case might be mm. is to be evident on what you are busy with yes um, and that's why it's so important again coming back to your question regarding purpose and not driving money because if you just chasing is like a rabbit freaking you can you can direct a rabbit or not a rabbit oh well a rabbit or a mouse or whatever if you put cheese in front of a mouse you can change his direction where you want him to go exactly because he, he'll just look down and check 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 exactly. check but if he sees uh, let's say let's take a cheetah if you've got a cheetah chasing a red buck seeing it there you can throw whatever, they've got their eyes on the price. Yes. Um, this is a stupid uh, uh, explanation, but the thing well, it, is, if you not, chase though. money, it changes your direction, you don't see where you're going. You can end up running in circles. A hundred percent, but I mean, getting back to the analogy of, 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 of people keeping themselves busy with, with the wrong mm. things, right? Mm. Um, and, and, and sort of the fact that time flies <laughs> you, whilst you're keeping yourself busy with, 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 with utter nonsense and not moving the needle. Um, you know, one of the things that's, so, that's scary, mm. um, you know, if we look back on our journey and, and mm. sort of the people that we've brushed shoulders with that have gone through this route mm. um, of keeping themselves busy with nonsense. Yeah. Um, here's the thing, and we've, I think we've mentioned this in previous episodes, but the world has become exponentially more competitive yeah. than it was in previous generations. Like exponentially, yeah. right? Like technology and all, and, and I mean, we mentioned this, yeah, like yeah, AI yeah. and all of these things, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. But, but here's the thing. If you do that, you're stagnating, right? You are not getting better. You're not getting better in terms of knowledge, in terms of skill, in terms of, you know, all of these different areas that are required for you to sort of reach your purpose. Because yeah. ultimately, and I mean, this is our belief, right? That, you know, you can only reach your purpose when you have become it. Mm. You know, and you, you live can't, it and you it, exactly. do it every single day. You become better at it. You're educating yourself. This is the point, right? So now people fall mm. so far behind because they keep themselves busy with nonsense and or, not or constantly. other people's business uh, and, and other people's well, purposes. Well, uh, well, 100% correct, right? So not actually pursuing what, <laughs> what's, what, 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 how shall I say this? Not pursuing their assignment. Yeah. They, 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 they want to be so much like X, Y, and Z. Ex Exactly. That they actually lose their track of what they need to do because it's lucrative. Yes. It's a quick scheme. It's quick money. It's, and it's, now, it's quick success. All of that, well, let's say flashy stuff. Yes. And now here's the thing, right? It, it made me think of this thing that I saw years ago in, in a Tony Robbins video, mm -hmm. right? But he, he just mentioned that, um, and, and I hope this is, no, it is correct, but I, I'm <laughs> paraphrasing, right? But he said that the key to happiness is progress. Uh. And that's a paraphrase. That's a if you're not progressing in life, and there might be goal. other keys, but this is the one that he mentioned, yeah. right? So the key to, to happiness is progress, right? So if you're not progressing in life, mm. that sort of has got a direct impact on mm. your, your level of happiness, mm. right? And so, so many people, at least with regards to purpose, um, are not progressing. Mm. And then they find themselves in this depressive state and the state of low energy, being lethargic and all of those types of things. And the thing is, again, referencing Tony um, with all respect, all the respect, right? But I mean, his principle regarding motion drives emotion, mm. you know, but you need to get busy with the right stuff because the moment you put motion and energy behind the right stuff, the right tasks, you're going to start progressing and that ultimately will, will have a huge positive impact on your level of happiness, right? And, and the thing is, because now people will say, okay, but how do I get into that right um, position? Well, now I'm busy with the right things. Yes. Then it brings me back to Peter's, 
you know, all thing that he said to us in the previous podcast is find yourself a rock. Just to make sure you know yourself first before you start out with this journey. And this is something that really, um, I, I think, I, I cannot remember if he mentioned this back in the episodes, but that's one of the pivotal things where you mm. can say, because then you've got a tick list. Yes. Do I love what I do? Is it, am I good at this? You go have your tick list and then, but that's something you do on your own. Find yourself a rock. Go sit on a rock and, it, you know, judge yourself. But you can bullshit anybody in the world. Just don't make sure you don't bullshit, bullshit yourself. I that's agree. the most important thing. I agree. Um, as a, let's say, a businessman, but in a relationship, in anything. Just make sure you don't bullshit yourself. I agree. Um, so, yeah, but... Uh, and the thing is, listen, I mean... To, 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 referencing the word bullshitting yourself right but but for me there's a lot of depth in that because it, it boils down to, to deceiving yourself yeah well and that's, that's a predict, it's yeah. but it's exactly that right and that's such a painful place it's, to it's be. hard to be honest with yourself it is because you then you need to, well then you need to deal with it if exactly. you admit you've got an eating habit issue you need to deal with it every time you sure. eat wrong or whatever smoking yes. drinking whatever the problem is well, well take it a step further if you're not walking in purpose yeah you know, if you're not, if you, well, or even worse than that, and this is a difficult one, mm. if you haven't yet found your purpose, yeah. your calling, well, your Well, that's the biggest one, I think, is people it's, it's don't tough. really find their purpose and they're searching for it their whole lives. Um, but it starts with yourself. And there's not a clear way to find your purpose. Um, and, and, and I don't want to go into that. Um, how can well, I, I mean, say? we can we can maybe just touch on it. I, I think it's, it's fair to do that, right? I mean, because here's the thing, and not... And not to say that you've got one purpose, because no. I think people think about it as a, it's just one, one thing, thing. And you need to pursue the one thing. A hundred percent. But it, it's, it's at least the way that we discuss it, the way that we think about it, it's part of the journey, right? Um, that you discover it in your journey because you ultimately become that. Yeah. But in journeying, mm. you know, it's, it's, it's faith and it's works, right? Mm. You, you've got a belief yeah. and then you back it up by works and you yeah. take a step. And and you've got a belief and you back it up by works and you take a step. And I give you an opportunity now, but I just want to mention this mm. because I do think that it's relevant and, and not to step on any toes. But mm. I mean, our belief is that, that we created in the image of God, mm. right? Um, you know, and ultimately that means that, you know, God doesn't do anything without purpose. Mm. So if you're created in God, God's image he did create you with purpose mm. and the idea being that if you get to know your maker mm. the one that made you that's how you start this journey of discovering your purpose mm. and, and 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 I think there's a lot of value yeah, in that sure. and and the thing is because it comes down to the principle of the seed and the seed the apple will always in the seed the pear exactly. will always in the seed yes. the seed is in you the carry soil. it inside of you yeah, it's already it's in you and there. people's looking the apple doesn't go to the pear and you know find out how to grow apples yes. or how to grow pears with another seed the seeds birth in them and the principle true because we are from seed so the per yes. the, the 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 um principle true um with that so dig inside you yourself go do some soul searching or you know um and 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 try to figure out and and i usually say to the guys that you know got go into this purpose journey is it's usually the thing that frightens you it's it's buried in you mm. and you know what you're good at you know what you need but it frightens you it yes. scares the hell out of you mm. to run into that direction it's always it's it's embedded in you um and to try search for that because people sometimes you know go through all these books and stuff and then they get so convoluted um, in their purpose, or not to say in their purpose, but they get so convoluted with all this information where they should actually just be quiet, go to a rock, and just get all these noise um, of the world and, you know, uh, this rat race of people trying to be successful and the flash cats and all these things. But to try to get down to that, you know, um, either the thing that you wanted to do as a young boy or whatever, but that thing that frightens you. Mm. So when you were young, you were just, this is what I'm going to be. And then as you grow older, um, and, it, and people sometimes think of it as a position, as mm. a fireman or as all of that nonsense. But there's deeper in that there was something. It's either to provide or, you know, all these, um, it's, it's bigger things. And I always say to guys, if, if, if your purpose is only about yourself, you know, it's wrong. Your purpose yes. will entail and help other people live a better life. 
Yes. Um, and, and that's also one of the checks, usually, um, that I like to put in myself. If we like the businesses we build together, it's never about ourselves. We always try to look at the people. After. Then it's like a check for me, right? Is this tying into our bigger purpose? Blah, 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 the whole thing. Mm. But I think that's something that it solves for a lot of things. And listen, the money thing always comes in along the way. When, because if people then live into their purpose, um, they become successful. And then money is a result of that because <laughs> you get me. Yes. And then usually people get derailed because the money part of the whole, you know, being successful, living in your purpose derails people. And either they sell off their businesses and that, let's say, beauty what they built die out yes because that other business owner doesn't carry that yes um, and people sometimes miss that here's what i was thinking whilst mm. you were speaking about that and it is that it sort of feels like it's very easy for people to to make these very important decisions right mm. regarding their future mm. but out of a foundation of selfishness yeah you get what I'm saying, um, and it's sort of and, and the thing about selfishness is that it's de it, it's deceiving because it feels right. You get what I'm saying? It's moving us forward, it's moving me forward, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. As opposed to if it's really a decision made made in, in that's birthed in selfishness, it really puts you at a disadvantage. Well, then you'll sell the business off and make millions, and you will be shot, but your workers will be in the dumps. They will not be looked after, whatever the case might be. But you get mm. my point, and mm. um, because God's got a purpose for each and every employer of yours mm. um, and each and everybody that with you it's God's yes. not a specter of person so yes. my purpose is not bigger than other people I just need to if I've got a calling and a big calling great I'm going to be just yes. different so I'll need to make sure that I need to do whatever I did I've got different opportunities than other oaks um, but the thing is um, I think money listen money is a big problem <laughs> <laughs> well, it is. Especially it when is. you come out of poverty and all that stuff. 100%. People finding their purpose. So, so the thing is, it's, it's strange. Uh, I believe it's uh, staying true to your purpose and have that journey. But if the journey, um, you know, is bad and you make a lot of money, I, listen, what, 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 what are you working then for? Um, because ultimately, you can speak to anybody that sell off a business. It's yes. A serious businessman that sell off businesses usually start within a year or two years with a different business. <laughs> um, it's just the way it works. Yes. Well, <laughs> because, because you can't do nothing. That's it. So um, if it's for purpose and if it's for a, a, a specific goal that you're doing that, great. But um, usually this is six. If you go look at all the big businesses, all, and I'm not saying big, I'm talking huge. Yes. That really make an impact. It's businesses that, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's almost a purpose that's been carried through family and generation. Yes, um, and and few corporate companies get that right to really run that sort of true purpose, um, and it will be good to see where Apple goes with all these things when they start handing the baton because their senior management is quite old. Um, it's not youngsters running Apple, <laughs> so it's a bunch of old folks running it, and we'll see in the next twenty years because they won't definitely be there in twenty years. So. It will be a good test to see where's Apple in 30, 40 years from now. Um, Just to clarify, you said they will be in 20 years. They won't. Won't? No. The I'm senior management of Apple oh, the will, senior be, management, not the will be done Apple, Will be done in about 10 yes. years max. Um, so in 20 years' time, we'll have different management yes. in Apple. In so the Apple is a good example, mm. I think, at least for me. I'm following them quite strict to see where the company is going mm. because I was actually quite impressed with the innovation that came out with, you know, all that. The chips, et cetera, yeah, et cetera. Okay. But, but, but yeah, if I can, no, no, yeah, no, if no, I can just this. turn it down to, to, to our generation, South Africa, and it's, it's a question that I actually mm. have for you, um, and I hope it doesn't come out of left field, but how do we get, how do you think we get a lot, if not the majority of our generation in South Africa and even Africa, to really catch on to this idea of we need to step up and really take up the responsibility of building the country, building each other, um, you know, building businesses, um, you know, all of those sort of, I don't want to say cliche things, mm. um, you know, but all of those things that need to be done. How do we get them to have that change of heart? Do they need that change of heart, maybe? See, I'm not 100% sure if they need a change of heart. 
Okay. Um, I, I really believe that the young generation really wants to be successful and sure. young between, let's say, 25 and 35. Yes. Um, so I believe in their hearts they really want to be successful. The thing is, maybe the now hours are not there. Okay. So I think we, what we're doing at Greater Corp um, is super important. We dealt with a lot of businessmen that are crooks, that do not look after their people, that run big businesses. And I think that does a lot of harm because mm. that this um, encourage and demotivates the employees. So mm. for me, it's being honest and built, b being true as young businessmen, but keep on encouraging like this. Mm. So I think there should be a hundred or thousands other podcasts like youngsters, um, one of our other mates from, you know, guy that went uh, with me uh, to school, um, started his own podcast and super successful. Mm. He's challenging a lot of guys. Yes. Um, I believe he gave his life to, uh, to Jesus, so that's great. Mm. Um, he mentioned that in one of his videos, which mm. I was a little bit, I wasn't sure where I'm the hope were. But, <laughs> but yeah. that's great. But for me, it's a thing of... Um, what makes damage is when somebody gets successful and then news come out, he had cocaine deals or he sold this daha or he's, you, you get my point. There was, a, the, there was a form of cheat to get there. Mm. That does a lot of harm because that does um, encourage a lot of youngsters starting out because people believe that people, well, most majority of people starting out believe people successful because of a, a quick or a lucky break or the, and that's bullshit. There is a couple of people that got lucky breaks. But if you go talk to anybody that really made their bucks or um, built successful businesses and you can go into their business and see, yes, this is a proper business and it, that's running well. Um, there was hard work back with that. There was mm. a vision back with that. There was a super drive back with that. And there was a belief um, whether that organization that this is going to become something mm. um, and I and I think if we can have less of all these bribes and quick stuff and trying to show the world that we can make money quickly um, and and that's what I love what we do <laughs> we're preaching we're not going to make money quickly we're in it for 20 years the slow um, <laughs> the slow slow <laughs> the truth of building business but I know that because I yes. saw it. My father gave me a platform where I could have expanded his business, but it took him 40 years to build that platform. Exactly. You get my point. So people, listen, I needed to have some sort of brain cells to expand that, but it took him 40 years. Yes. Dear pal, if you tell me I need to only have a good platform now in 40 years, I'm going to get discouraged. Sure. But the thing is, um, you need to have that mindset to be able to you know, this, if you really believe in something, mm. you need to be willing to build this for 20 years. And walk it out. And walk it out. If it's good, if it's bad, you believe in this problem. The thing is, when people think of quick fixes and quick money and it's going to take me like two years and then I'm going to be super successful. The problem is, there's going to come a hard time. And the hard time's going to come. It's a flipping, it's in business, you have ups and you have downs. Mm. Mate, uh, one of my uh, mentors always tell me, get ready for the valley spell. The valleys, <laughs> it's in the lows where you get tested. So, because you're going to get there. It's, yes. You never, there is no way you're going to get around that. So, make ready for the valleys. But the problem is, if you, if you do not have some sort of bigger calling or bigger, um, you know, let's, well, the right word is purpose, but a, a bigger drive within you the first value you in bail you out mm. you're either back into corporate you're back into the you know employment system where you're helping somebody else build their purpose and listen there's a big part again you, some needs to be in that um, well part. because they're not necessarily called to be Call entrepreneurs or, 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 or you know building yeah, businesses they need to help that yes. because if that guy's got that vision he needs a team for that and that people's yes. called to help this guy build his vision or uh, or whoever and it's not to be, yeah, everybody's got their place. You just need to know where you fit in. Mm. The thing is, if it, it comes down to if, the, if there is not a super drive within the heart of the businessman, of the, let's say, the jockey that runs 
his firm or for his business or whatever. Mm. The first valley, they're out. Or the second valley, they're out. They won't be able to stick that out for 30 years because what's that bigger thing they're running for? 100%. It's almost, you know, it's the pulling power. Yeah. You know, it's, that's it's why not vision. Just the vision is well this is actually, the first thing you do when you build a business i'm so glad you mentioned this because I, I i forgot i wanted to say this actually earlier because you you always reference this and you do it really well um you know the fact that you need to cast vision in every conversation you know when you're building business when you're building your life when you're building your career mm -hmm. you know we it's one of our foundational principles mm -hmm. that we move on you know without vision the people perish That's it. um and it's 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 tough but it's mm -hmm. the truth if you don't have vision, a vision for your life, a vision for your for your nation, a vision for your family, um, a vision for humanity, for lack of a better term, right? Um, you will per perish. Well, what's the part you want to play in the economy? Yes. Get a vision for that. Exactly. What impact do you want? It needs to scare you. If you look at that vision, shove it. This scares me. How am I going to get this? Lack it. Now you've got 40 years to build it now. Yes. Run for it. You'll get closer each and every God year. willing, it, hopefully it's a bit quick. <laughs> yeah, listen, the 40 year thing, I, I'm not going to mention that. But well, soon I've got a 20 year plan. Yeah, 20. So, <laughs> but I mean, we have been drafting for quite yeah, some time. Yeah, so. um, you know, but I think it's again, uh, you know, coming down to, to, to or coming back to actually finding yourself a rock, mm -hmm. sitting on it and actually figuring these things mm -hmm. out, um, you know, and starting with obviously you need to deal with a lot of things internally, but mm -hmm. then actually thinking about getting a vision for your life, mm -hmm. right? Um, you know, ultimately, uh, you know, it, it it sort of hinges on 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 finding some wisdom as well. Sure. Uh, you know, I think people underestimate Jeez. how much of wisdom you need to figure these things out. Doesn't just it, it doesn't just come, um, you know, uh, by itself. I, I was in a conversation yesterday with um, yeah, with the guy. And uh, when I started out with my journey, especially with my father, mm. um, as a youngster, you flip and think you know almost everything. Just like it. And I quickly got uh, hit on the nose mm. to say, shut up, you don't know anything. Yes. And it was tough at the beginning, but, and I struggled, at the beginning I struggled to learn from my father, because he's my father, mm. uh, used to the way, so sometimes I thought he's biased and he just wanted to teach me unnecessary mm. lessons and all these things um, but I went and searched for let's say uh, you know people that know business which I vetted I vetted them myself and I went to them the problem is they said exactly the same thing as my father <laughs> and I quickly learned that listen when you're young in business and the old guys or the older generation talk to you, shut up because there's a reason why they're there and you are here. You're yes. starting out, they've been there. Just shut up and do the work. Um, so let's let's just touch on that again on a, on a deeper note because yeah. I think this is important because it always seems to sort of gnaw out its, its head whenever we have these discussions, but it's the willingness to actually submit yourself under authority. the right authority. Um, you know, yes, it's like people struggle so much with this and not to say that it's an easy thing. It's difficult because people get, not to say entitlement, but they think because sometimes and usually um, with the people that got the degrees and they studied, so now they think they're entitled for this. Exactly. And it's great, they've got the knowledge, but business knowledge outrank most of the time. Yes. The, the people that studied for, let's say, whatever period of time. Um, yeah, let me not go into that uh, conversation. So, but for me, the thing is, you cannot run people and you cannot run a big organization. And for me, being in an organization that employed a lot of people, um, I saw that how important it was for me to have that sort of, and thank God I submitted just, I, I, mm. I was cocky for a, for a period of time, but yeah. luckily I've Eventually got a your nose militaristic, enough. yeah, listen, I've got a militaristic dad, so he just doesn't, it didn't <laughs> fly with him, so that didn't fly well with him, so um, I needed to submit, but luckily I submitted, and I saw over time, after eight years working with him, I saw the importance for me understanding that, so when my father came into the office, I made him coffee. Mm. Most of the time. I didn't wait for his PA or whatever. I made him coffee. That was one of my things that I wanted to do. Yes. Because it's, for me, it keeps me humble. 
Well, and honor, right? And for me, it was a big thing. He didn't, he, uh, if he watches, I don't know, but he did, I never, it's not a thing. He, mm. never, he never asked me why I make him coffee. But I know that was a good thing for him. Mm. Um, his son's making him coffee. Um, so it's small things like that um, that I think plays a huge part because it's more about me. Yes, it means a lot to him, I think. Mm. But in, and listen, that's one thing. There's a million other things where um, not to burden him with nonsense and try to, you know, as whatever. So for me, um, I think that humbleness is a really, a, it's a difficult thing in the world. Um, but I think in our country, especially South Africa, um, it's not such a difficult thing because we, most South Africans, no matter the race, um, authority is a big thing in our country, yes. um, especially for elders. Across all cultures. Yes, mm. but there is always the side where, um, from the youngsters, where there's, uh, not to say the, but the, you know, the, it's like they become cocky and they want to become wise and whatever. And then sometimes they find out the humbleness too late and it hit them too hard. But for me, it's a thing of, if you, if you are humble, there's a hell of a lot of lessons you can actually learn. Because mm. the moment you are humble, you are open to listen. If you are prideful, you're not going to listen. No matter what who says, yes. you won't be able to hear. Um, and I think that's a big thing um, amongst young businessmen. Well, I mean, listen, it business women and businessmen. <laughs> and sure, but I mean, that's obviously been our experience to a, I won't say to a large extent, yeah. but at least to an extent. Um, I think for me, the thing is, and, and, and maybe that's, uh, I think, sort of, I don't want to say the message for today, mm. but I think it is something that we want to not just probe, um, but actually get people to start really. Mm, discussing this and driving this as a as an idea and as a topic and as a as, mm. a, as an understanding that that it really is our responsibility mm. um, and if we miss it you know we're really putting the next generation at jeopardy uh, the problem is every generation need to take some sort of responsibility yes. it's just a matter of how many of them taking responsibility and I think for me the purpose of this is challenging our audience in their way um, taking the responsibility so that the burden is not just on a few guys or a few people. Yes. That it's spread amongst all of us. Yes. And I believe that will bring unity as well because we can celebrate a lot of business success amongst each other. It doesn't 100%. need to be, you know, and yeah. So I think um, it's more of a challenge um, and message almost out there. Search for your purpose so that we can do it purposeful, not only the money, but then to really, the thing is, if you're born in this country, there's a reason um, or, or, or there's a purpose for you here. What that is, you need to figure it out. Sure. Um, but if you're born here, go look for what's that thing that you need to change in this country. Um, if it's on a local level, if it's on a community level. Or an international level. Or an, or, yeah, fair. so I, I usually believe that it starts some just boom and they mm. national. But what's it locally? What's it? let's say, on a state level and what's it in, uh, on a national level. Mm. And then eventually, how do we conquer Africa? <laughs> and mm. how do we bring solutions to our continent that's Africa? Um, I think that would be the long-term play, if you ask me. I agree. But, um, yeah. I agree. Lekker. Lekker. Uh, I think I hope that you guys will enjoy it. this episode. Yes, I'm I listen, did, so. it's... Uh, <laughs> it's been a good chat, yeah. but uh, but I think we actually we're slightly emotional about this because yeah. we do realize that it's 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 very real. Yeah. So um, to our generation, let's uh, let's step it up. Let's seek our purpose. Let's pursue it, um, you know, and really do something to not only make a difference but actually build build this nation, um, you know, and this continent yeah. uh, for better. Yeah. Alrighty. Shop. Thanks. Like. Subscribe. See you next time. Cheers. Ciao.